Welcome, in this video we will further secure our Spring Authorization Server with multi-factor authentication. Today we will better secure the secrets in the database. We start with the code in Eclipse. First we have the POM XML file. We immediately use the latest version of Spring Boot. 3.1.5 This also means that Spring Authorization Server 1.1.3 is available. In the application YAML file we have a key to encrypt the secrets later. For a test project this is fine, but for a real project you should choose another option, it is not a good idea to store keys in application YAML. In the security config class we have a new bean, Bytes Encryptor. We extract the key from the application YAML file and create an encryptor. In the login controller we make the password encoder available with constructor injection. And we use it in the post security question endpoint to compare the answer with the answer in the database. The second secret is the multi-factor authenticator key. We have adjusted the save method in the custom user detail service so that it can encrypt the secret and thus save it in the database. The final step is the authenticator service. Here we need to decrypt the secret before we can compare it in the time-based one-time password util. As a final step I would like to briefly show the contents of the database. The security answers are now protected with bcrypt and the multi-factor authenticator secret with the bytes encryptor. This way the data is better secured. That's it for this short video. Thank you, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.